grew up in a small town with a population of about 5,000 people. Small things are far too familiar to me, including small businesses. The special story that I have to tell is about a lady that I grew up knowing because my mom would always take me to her coffee shop. Not many people knew what the sweet lady was going through until she opened up to a person in the community. In a small town like mine, news spread quickly. Soon the story that Becky had cancer had spread throughout the community. Our community came up with an idea to all go to her coffee shop and purchase something to help out with her medical bills. The turnout was insane and the money that was made helped her get through her treatment with ease. This is just an example of what buying locally can do for a business owner and or community. Local businesses affect all of us in all sorts of ways you cannot even imagine. I currently work on a local farm and am from a local, small local style town. In addition to being very familiar with buying locally, I have done lots of research on local businesses. I am doing this speech to inform you on the facts, pros, and cons of buying locally. First, I will talk about the jobs that buying locally can make. Second, I will talk about the effect of buying locally on the amount of money that circulates in your community. Lastly, I will talk about how local businesses possibly strengthen the middle class. You may have heard that Walmart creates so many job opportunities for the population. Although this is true, the side that some people do not look at is local businesses. The local businesses also employ many people. Although Walmart employs lots of people, think about the effect a big company like Walmart has on a little company. Walmart actually will either put the small company out of business or make them cut their spendings, which will lead to people being laid off. According to the economists at Yale University and Bristol University, at times of high unemployment, Local businesses retain and create more jobs than larger businesses. Another study by David Newmark claims that when a small, when a new Walmart is open, the retail employment decreases by 150 jobs. The statistics imply that bringing Walmart to a town will in fact create less jobs in your area. Although this may be true that big companies can indeed cause a decrease in jobs locally, there is a rebuttal. Even though jobs decrease, that does not mean the, that the local jobs are necessarily ethical. What is considered to be more ethical and not ethical? This could be in the way the employees are treated, the way the produce or products are actually farmed and produced, and the farming practices. Having local jobs are important, but what is also important is the money that stays within the community when you buy locally. My story at the beginning of my speech is just a small example of how buying locally can keep the money in your community. For some people, it is very important for the majority of the money to, they spend to keep circulating in their own community. For others, they could care less where their money goes. When you come from a small town that is a close-knit community, you seem to care more about where your money goes. As analyzed by the British Columbia Division of the Canadian Union of Public Employees, for every million dollars that a local business makes, 450000 of that actually goes back into the local economy. In comparison, a chain business can earn the same million dollars, but only $170,000 will generate local economic activity. In contrast, a big chain may make that million dollars quicker, which would generate less per million into the local economy, but could be making way more money than the local business which would create more money activity in the economy in total. Another study done by Civ Economics, local retailers returned a total of 52% in total. In another study, in the same study, retail chains, which returned a total of 14% of their revenue into the economic activity. There is always negatives, and the negative is that not all people can afford to buy foods that are locally grown or organically grown because they tend to be more spendy. In other words, not everyone can afford to buy locally grown food. My last point I'd like to inform you about is how buying locally can possibly strengthen the middle class. Buying locally can strengthen the middle class because it will allow middle class citizens to have successful businesses. Also, it will strengthen the middle class by cutting down the pay difference between local business owners and large corporations. According to Miller's article, he states that at large firms, low and medium skilled employees 
earn about the same or little less than their counterparts at small firms, while high skilled employees are paid significantly more than similar positions at smaller companies. What does this mean exactly? It means that a person that is working for a smaller company that has a similar job title as a person working at a larger company, there will be a huge inequality in pay. By increasing local activity, this will even out the wages and increase the middle class. You're probably thinking, well, if there is more money to be made working for a larger firm, wouldn't you just want to work your way up to that job? Yes, you are correct. That is the other side of this coin. People with higher skills and working at a larger firm will make, will make more money working for the larger firm. There are ups and downs to buying locally, and that includes increasing job opportunities. But are those jobs more ethical? Also, buying locally does increase the amount of money circulating back into the local economy. But is it fiscally the best idea? Possibly, possibly not. I informed you on the facts, pros, and cons of buying locally. To answer the question and argument about buying locally, there is no direct answer. Instead, there is pros and cons. It is up to you to decide whether or not the pros outweigh the cons.